What's up students, it's your sensei PGT and welcome back to class. Today's class will be going over spawning agar to green. Once we have our colonized agar dishes and they're free of contaminants, we want to go ahead and spawn them out to your sterilized grain jars to produce grain spawn. Today I'm using wild bird seeds for the demonstration here. First things first, we want to go ahead and sanitize our equipment. I went ahead and wiped down my blade here and my gloves with the 70% isopropyl alcohol. Next up, I'll go ahead and wipe down the jar lids here, just as a precautionary. Now it's already been clean coming out the pressure cooker. It's already been sterilized, but you can never be too careful sometimes. Now the process of spawning agar to grain will work for any grain you decide to use, whether that's oats, brown rice, wild bird seeds, popcorn, whatever it is. Grain jars will serve the same purpose. The grains will provide plenty of nutrients for mycelium to feed off of and colonize as it becomes stronger. Here you can see my fully colonized agar cups here. They're ready to go. Now I like to use usually one whole cup per jar, one quart jar. Uh, you can use more, or you can use less, depending on the amount that you use. Uh, will determine how quickly your jars will colonize. As per usual, we'll go ahead and flame sterilize our blade here before we work with it. Now we'll go ahead and loosen up our lids on our grain jars here and get them ready. Now this process is gonna be very quick. Uh, you want to minimize exposure to open air whenever you're inoculating. So go ahead and open up our dish. You can see our agar cups fully colonized. Uh, what I like to do is make cuts in here in a checkered pattern, uh, back and forth, just to split up the inoculation points on the agar dish so that there's more inoculation points inside the grain jar. Once you have your agar cut up, we'll open up the lid and drop our agar in there, the complete dish, and close up the lid. And you can see I spent maybe one second or two seconds with the lid open. The quicker you can do this, the, the less chance of any contamination from getting inside the jar. Now with the agar in, I'll go ahead and shake this up and distribute the agar along with the grains get this thoroughly mixed up so that you get inoculation points everywhere inside the jar here you can see little bits of agar has been broken up and the more inoculation points that are spread out the quicker you can colonize your grain jars all right once you've inoculated the grain jars uh, i'll loosen up the lids again just to allow the gas exchange to happen and i'll leave these out on uh shelf at room temperature uh, to colonize over the period of uh, three to four weeks. The rest of the process is going to be the same thing over and over. I'll go ahead and speed up the video here. Now for these I'm going to be doing two agar cups per jar just because I have a lot of excess cups going so I, I just want to speed up the process here. Now you can use as little or as much as you want. Uh, so I've seen people cut out one or two wedges from the agar and then they'll drop the wedges in uh, to the jars. The same process still happens. It's just going to take longer uh, the less mycelium yet you have in there. After about a week, uh, this is what your grain jars will kind of look like. The mycelium is going to start spreading out from the agar chunks that we've dropped inside of the grain jar. Once it gets about 30% colonized, I'll go ahead and tighten up the jar lid here. And I'll give the jar a very good shake to uh, break up the mycelium. 
uh, this will go ahead and redistribute the mycelium inoculation points throughout the jar and uh, over time the mycelium is going to recover and will grow to colonize much quicker than before and also please be considerate of the amount of force you're using on your jars uh, i don't really want anyone to break their jars during this process so just be mindful of that all right now once you're finished breaking everything apart and getting them mixed in your jars will look like this uh, the mycelium is pretty much spread everywhere throughout the jar and uh, what I'll go ahead and do is loosen up the lid for gas exchange and leave it out to colonize. After a week or two, your jars will kind of look like this. Uh, the one on the left here is about a week after it's being shooken up. And the one on the right here is a little bit ahead. As you can see, uh, the mycelium is starting to spread everywhere throughout the jar. And if you leave it long enough, uh, the mycelium will pretty much entirely cover the jar here, like this example. Uh, this is when your jars are ready to spawn out to bulk substrate. So just give it some patience, the mycelium will recover, and you'll be good to go. Shout out to this month's patrons. Without you guys, I cannot have made it this far. You guys enable me to continue doing what I love. Thank you very much for the support, as always. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Leave comments below and subscribe for more videos. If you want to discuss and learn more about mushrooms and mycology, come join us over on the Discord server. And if you want to show some support by becoming a golden student, you can check out my Patreon. All links will be in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video.